Hi, parents, and welcome to our 2020-2021 Open House. I am so glad to have every one of your, your children in my class. It has been a great experience. Um, they have really just taken this virtual slash face-to-face learning and have made the best of it. And while we're, we've been learning and working hard, we've also been having lots of fun. So this will be a really quick uh, presentation about what's happening in our class, what the expectations are, and just a little bit about of our school dress code and school supplies. Today, I'll be um, also presenting the way, the form of communication that I prefer, um, what's happening in second grade, daily instruction, what are we using in our class, such as the applications we're using, uh, virtual expectations, attendance expectation, dress code, school supplies, and if you have any questions, Ms. Henley has been so kind to add a survey under this video go ahead and put your question there and I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as possible. This is my conference time information. I am available from 8.40 to 9.30 every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Feel free to give me a call at that time or if you um, need me to give you a call back, you can always leave me a voicemail and I will give you a call back during my conference period you can also email me or message me through Remind. This is just a wall of your um, children's excellent work. Um, this is a brainstorming activity and that we have been working on. We'll be doing a personal narrative by the end of December. And this is just the start of it. So feel free to click here and it'll take you to the link where you can see your child's brainstorming activity. As far as daily instruction, um, the students are expected to log in daily to our Zoom meetings where I do take our attendance. They're also expected to complete all assignments. Students are to log into Dreambox and iStation daily. Dreambox is about 15 to 20 minutes and iStation would be 20 to 30 minutes a day. Now I do ask that all assignments be completed by the student and not you guys. Um, this is very important so that I could continue to see where your child is, what I need to do to adjust my, my type of teaching in case maybe something is not really uh, being learned by your child. So this is, it's very important. I don't count off for spelling or um, little things like formatting issues because I know this whole virtual thing is just very different. The apps that we are using in our class are ClassLink, Zoom, Seesaw, Dreambox, and iStation. The virtual expectation is that you dress, your child dresses appropriately. That means no PJs, no blankets on them. So just ready for school. And we want to make this the closest to school as possible. Um, I do expect each child to be sitting while we are working. I want everyone to be creative in my class and I love participation. No pets in their Zoom meetings, although they're super cute. I do ask that you, you keep your pets away from your child during the uh, Zoom lessons. No eating, your child must be on time to our Zoom meetings. And always, always have an appropriate place to work. That means no distraction, no noise for your child. We're trying to make this as easy as possible for the students. And sometimes when there's a lot of distractions, it's really hard for them to focus and learn. As far as attendance for face-to-face, -face, um, they are, of course, um, counted present if they are in school. If they are absent and stayed home sick and they do not log in virtually, we will uh, mark them absent. For virtual students, you do need to show activity on Seesaw, Dreambox, iStation, and also complete um, and also attend our Zoom meetings. Our first Zoom meeting of the day is when I do take attendance. As far as dress code, the takeaways I would like for you um, to take away from this is your child should wear tennis shoes daily to school. No holes should be in the pants and no leggings. Um, as far as homework, we really don't want to assign any homework at this time. So we do ask that you read at least 20 minutes a day with your child. 
For our school supplies, it is important, of course, that your child brings the essentials. Um, if there is something on this list that you are not able to bring, please let me know as soon as possible so that I can make any arrangements to get your child what they need. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to fill out the survey below this video and I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for all your support so far this year. You guys have been amazing and I appreciate everything that you have done for um, your child and for me as their teacher. Thank you and you guys have an awesome time.